I had um, I think it was somebody. I think it was it could have been Elder Mitchell sent me a video of an active shooter situation uh, the other day, and um, what it was, it was um, a man came into a store with a shotgun. There was two women, uh, females, uh, a mother and a daughter. Of course, you know, behind the counter, running their quick, quick mock store. The guy comes in to robs them. He's holding the shotgun up there. He's pushing on them and carrying on the stuff. And then he heads towards the door. Now, while he heads towards the door, um, the women start to grab their firearms. And, of course, you know, I think what they look, what it looks like they had was a, um, a revolver, Smith & Wesson revolver, and one of them was a 380. But I'm saying this because what happened was is that after they grabbed it, it looks like they put the magazine in and, and everything, and then they start to shoot at the guy. Well, they hit him once. He turns around and comes right back at them. And as they still are unloading rounds in him, he's not stopping. And um, this is something to be said for low caliber rounds. It doesn't mean that these low caliber rounds, if they're not placed right, is going to hit the intended area in order to stop the threat. And I said that because um, he grabs the pistol out of the daughter's hand and literally pistol whips her while the mother is still shooting. And she's hollering, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Now, I'm saying this because, number one, if you're working in a convenience store, if you're a sister, it does no good for you to have your weapon on you and it's in a place that you can't have fast access to. You want to have it on you at all times on you to where you can actually grab it and then start to protect yourselves. That's the way you want it. You don't want it put it on the shelf. You don't want to be walking back to the cooler and the gun is up there behind the register. You need it on you at all times. And in this case, when he came back inside the store, what, what one of them should have done is shot him in the face, shot him in the head after two or three times. It just didn't work. Um, now, I'm not saying you don't want to get hit by any caliber rounds whatsoever at all. But um, I tell you what, that 45 is a man stopper. And that 40 ain't too bad either. And that 9 millimeter ain't too bad either. But when you start getting down these lower caliber rounds, um, I'll see if I can find a video. Post it up a little bit later. Uh, but I'm telling you, <laughs> it's utterly amazing when you think about some of the situations that go on in this world right here. Um, you can tell they have not been trained properly. Uh, they have not received a proper instruction. Just because you have a concealed carry license does not mean that you know how to operate it. No more than just because you got a driver's license means you know how to drive. <laughs>